The new Miss Belize universe is going to be crowned on Saturday night. Six beautiful and intelligent contestants are vying for the title with the eventual winner participating in the Miss Universe pageant later in the year. So today we decided to ask the delegates for their responses to questions asked at the pageant in years gone by. Here's what they had to say. Here's the final question. If there were no rules in your life for one day and you could be outrageous, what would you do? I would probably sleep all day, to tell you the truth, especially after this experience that has been so exhausting. I, I, would, I would spend all day in bed and just watch all of my favorite shows and not answer any phone calls or any messages. Do you think the world would be a better place if we just had one world government and no separate countries? I think the separate government would be better because every country has a different culture, different religions, different, just different everything. And um, one government wouldn't, wouldn't be able to fulfill the wishes of the people in every different country. If you could choose only one, would you choose smart, rich or beautiful or why? I would definitely choose smart because I think that intelligence is something very amazing. And I think that being beautiful and not having a good a brain, I think it doesn't give you substance. I think that intelligence would give me skills to become rich and intelligence can boost you to do so many things and that's definitely what I would choose. Outside of those questions, we asked some of the delegates how they felt about some of the contemporary issues. Unsupervised internet usage was a hot issue at the 2010 contest. Ashley Lightburn is calling for balance in her interactions online. How do we leverage internet usage so that it's both beneficial and it protects young people from misinformation, mm -hmm. disinformation, and fake news. We just have to manage how we put things out there and we have to stop all the negative parts of uh, social media. It, social media is a wide spectrum. We have very good things about it and then we have the very dark side of it. And if we do our part to counteract the dark side, then we are able to utilize it to, in the light that it should be used in. So we have to take an individual stance on issues like that. And, you know, if you're seeing somebody bullying someone or misusing their information, you report it to wherever it needs to be reported to and, you know, take your part into it. And here are some other questions we fielded the contestants. As an international ambassador, do you believe that speaking English should be a prerequisite to being Miss Universe? Why or why not? Must is a very hard word. It's, it's a very, it's a big word. But in my honest opinion, I think that Anyone who becomes an ambassador should be able to at least defend herself, like try to learn Spanish and English. There's a balance. Um, Spanish is a, a difficult language, but I mean, it can take you many places. So can English. So I think it's a balance and everything goes in place after that. <laughs> Alina Scott even took this question from me. It's always said that women teach men how to love mm. what do you think women can learn from men hmm that's a great question I think men and women can learn a lot from each other something that I personally have learned from the men in my life is commitment and trust I am very fortunate to have a lot of really strong men in my life who I trust and who I can always rely on what we can rely on is that Hatchet Night will be exciting. It happens at the Bliss this Saturday, and tickets are now on sale. Dale McDougall, Love News.